morning, everyone. Nice to see all of you here this morning. Can't believe today is October 1st. I mean, where is the time going? You know, we were just here, it seems like just recently when we were here for Obon, and then a couple weeks ago, um, we observed our Ohigan, which is uh, the, um, the uh, during the time of the fall equinox. So fall is here, and now we're in our uh, looking toward the end of, end of the year. But welcome to our uh, family service today, Dharma family service, and the Shotsky for the month of uh, monthly memorial for uh, the month of October. Uh, we will begin this morning service with a fruit and floral offering by the uh, presented by the pre-K through third grade class. Thank you very much. It's, it's so nice to see our, our young Dharma school students here and to present the fruit and floral offerings to the um, Amida Buddha. And uh, thank you for, for your offering this morning. Uh, next, we will have uh, a moment of silent meditation um, with um, Reverend Laverne Sensei leading us. How joyous I am, my heart and mind being rooted in the Buddha ground of the universal vow, and my thoughts and feelings flowing within the Dharma ocean, which is beyond comprehension. I am deeply aware of the Tathagata's immense compassion, and I sincerely revere the benef benevolent care behind the master's teaching activity. My joy grows even fuller, my gratitude and indebtedness ever more compelling. Please join me in recitation of the Nimbutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Thank you. At this time, um, Laverne Sensei will read the uh, names of the Shotsky um, of those who passed away during the month of October. And uh, you're welcome to offer incense, to burn incense uh, when the na names are re read. And if you have multiple, you could just offer one time, okay, for Oshoko once. I will read the name of the person who passed away in the month of October and then the name of the family member. <clears throat> Ikichi Ito, Ito family. Itsuemon Tanaka, 
Dr. Brian Tanaka. Yas Yasaku Nakamura, Yukiko Sugiyama, Tatsujiro Yonekura, Yonekura family, Masaichi Yamada, Yamada family, Sueichi Azuma, Shizuko Azuma, Shizuka Azuma, Ito Fukamizu, Ninomiya family, Jinkichi Yamasaki, Yamasaki family, Reverend Guze Nishi, Nishi family, Nobuzo Kida, Kida family, Katsue Takashima, Wilbur Takashima, Tsuneichi Hirata, Katsi Hirata, Otsushichi Ochi, Janet Ochi Fontanat, Kazuya Himaka, Himaka family, Tsuneichi Sameshima, Takashi Sameshima, Kanzo Okuni, Akira Okuni, Koichi Fuji, Katsumi Kida, Zentaro Asamen, Masako Ueji, Toshino Hamano, Emiko Hamano, Takeshi Monji, Monji family, Tomoyo Kuwada, Kanji Kuwada, Fukuyo Matsumoto, Shintaro Matsumoto, Mitsuye Sugioka, Sugioka family, Ume Tsurudome, Tsurudome, Tsurudome family, Kotono Takahashi, Ruth Voorhees, Kasuke Hashiguchi, Hashiguchi family, Sam Sugita, Jean Sugita, Gen Iwasaki, Kubata family, Mine Imai, Ohara family, Katsu Yamaguchi, Yamaguchi family, Matsu Kusaka, Kusaka family, Hatsu Shibata, Ishikawa family, Shimako Hanaoka, Kayako Hanaoka, Roy Hosaka, Hosaka family, Fujie Ochi, Janet Ochi Fontanat, Haruye Tsuneyoshi, Miki Tsuneyoshi, Ritsuko Abe, Walter Gilde, <clears throat> Muto Kawahara, Takeshi and Yoshito Kawahara, Helen Haruyo Kawahara, Takeshi and Yoshito Kawahara, Kosuke Imori, Imori family, Charlie Torio, Betty Torio, Jimmy Shinohara, Janice Shinohara, Tomi Yada, Yada family, Betty Harvey Teague, Teague family, Aiko Tachiki, Tachiki family, Tadashi Yano, Tamako Yano, Chise Chiseko Oya, Ayako Linda Seu, Haruno Mayakawa, Aaron Mayakawa, Minoru Takasugi, Takasugi family, Nancy Tsukiko Imai, Ohara family, Toyoko Yonekura, Yonekura family, Tsuruko Louise Osaki, Gail Furuya, Emi Himaka Shimizu, Gordon Shimizu, Yoshinori Tsunematsu, Yukari Williams, <clears throat> Ayako Kaminaka, Wayne Kaminaka, Frank Doi, Doris Doi, John Inoue, Craig Inoue, Aiko Muraoka, Roy Muraoka, Tadashi Kitano, Margie Kitano, Takashi Mayumi, Mitsuko Kawamoto, Tom Tamotsu Sugioka, Dennis Sugioka, Yusaku Kuroiwa, Sonoko Kuroiwa, Tatsuo Richard Takashima, Ronald Takashima, Robert Susumu Sasaki, Gail Sleman, Raymond J. Sakao, Toshiko Sakao, Kimie Date, Shirley Umekubo, Teruko Hobbs, James Hobbs, Mary Suyanaga, Suyanaga family, Reverend Teshi Aoyama, Alice Aoyama, Kisae Ohara, Ann Ohara, Hiroshi Kubota, Edward Kubota, 
Chieko Moriyama, Moriyama family. Roy Yonekura, Susan Yonekura. Tomio Ota, Ota family. Mio Hill, Hill family. And the temple and Sangha extends its sincere condolences to the family and friends of Toyo Nishi, who passed away on July 31st of this year. If you had a loved one who passed away in October but whose name was not read, please come up and do Oshoko. Thank you. We will now have the uh, sutra chanting Sambutsuge, and that will be pa found on page 43 of the service book. Kimyo dojo chosen 
Nai on me muto so gato I mean do that is I jeep or I show she net and show Joe ito ga koku keraku unknown Cobin shimmyo zega shin show ほんがんのひりきしょうしょうよく。ちえむげじょうりょうしそんちがしんぎょうけろしんししょうくどくちゅかぎょうしょうじんにんじゅ。Thank you. Uh, will everyone stand for the reading of our pledge? Our pledge is the insert found inside the uh, um, service book. Our pledge, breaking out of my shell, I will share a warm smile and speak gentle words, just like the kind Buddha. Not becoming lost in my greed, anger, and ignorance, I shall think and act in the open mind, just like the calm and peaceful Buddha. Not putting myself first, I shall share the joy and sadness of others, just like the compassionate Buddha. Realizing the gift of life I have received, I shall strive to eat and take as well as like the Buddha of Tao's words. Gasho, Namo Amidabs, Namo Amidabs, Namo Amidabs, Namo Amidabs. Thank you. You may be seated. Next, we will have a um, Dharma School message given by Arturo Rubio. Please join me in Gashu. The debt of gratitude I owe to Amida's great compassion, I will proclaim until my life disintegrates into dust. The debt of gratitude I owe to my Dharma teachers, I will express until my bodily form is finally shattered. Namo Amida Betsu. 
Namo Amidabetsu, Namo Amidabetsu, Namandav, Namandav. Good morning, everyone. What I just read is the English translation of Onduksan 2, which is a gatha based on a wasan written by Shinran Shonin to express deep gratitude for the compassion received from Abhida Buddha and all our Dharma teachers. Again, what is this year's Dharma school theme? Compassion, there you go. Okay, perfect. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines compassion as sympathetic consciousness of others, uh, of others' distress, together with a desire to alleviate it. As it's been mentioned in past services, other synonyms for compassion are sympathy, empathy, kindness, understanding. The ultimate display of compassion is what we receive from Amida Buddha. We are saved by Amida Buddha by simply reciting the Nembutsu with an interesting heart. We should also display compassion towards others. Just ask, hey, are you okay? Can I help you? When you see that a friend or loved one is sad or upset, but we should also be compassionate towards ourselves. We should be honest with ourselves and recognize our limitations. When we do this, we can see that gratitude is closely linked with compassion. You can say, okay, I'm not very good at playing soccer, but that's okay. I'm grateful, I'm grateful that I've got a talent for baseball, basketball, and many other things. This reminds me of an essay written by Bishop Harada, which appears in his book, Discovering Buddhism in Everyday Life. The essay is entitled, The Only Thing I Know in Life is Gratitude. In this essay, Reverend Harada describes a trip he took to Kyoto, Japan, with a junior YBA group back in 2004. I'll just read a couple excerpts from this essay, starting with his depiction of their visit to Ryoanji Temple. And I quote, one of the most famous temples in Kyoto is called Ryoanji. Ryoanji has one of the most famous rock gardens in the world. You might have seen pictures of it before. It is a most simple garden consisting of mostly white rocks that are meticulously raked in a pattern and a few other large rocks. It is so simple that you initially fail to see the beauty of the garden. One of the kids in our group, upon seeing the garden, asked me most honestly, Sensei, is this it? I laughed in response and said, yes, this is it. I couldn't blame the young person because I think most people initially think there must be more to the garden because it is so strikingly simple. Although I had been to Ryoanji several times before, this time I noticed something that was most interesting. In the back, in a corner that most people simply walk by, there is a beautiful little stone fountain with a Buddhist saying on it. The Buddhist saying is, Ware tado, Taru Oshiru, which means something like, all I know in life is to be contented, to be grateful. When we reflect on this statement, it is a most profound and amazing statement. Reverend Harada goes on and explains that we go through life learning a lot of things. We learn math, science, history, or English. In our religion, we also learn a lot of things, like the Eightfold Path, the Six Paramitas, the Five Precepts, the teachings of karma, impermanence, and interdependency. Reverend Harada continues, and I quote, this statement by this Zen monk written on the fountain in Ryoanji says, I don't know a lot of things. In fact, I really know nothing of this world. I don't know history, science, or math. I don't know philosophy, psychology, or metaphysics. I only know one thing. I know how to be contented, how to be grateful. 
when you think about it, what an amazing statement that is. To really and truly know gratitude and how to be grateful, maybe that is the most important thing to know in life. Really, someone who knows gratitude knows everything that is necessary to know in life. In knowing gratitude, the ultimate source of happiness is known. End of quote. Think about what Harada Sensei is telling us. A person who really knows gratitude is not shaken by bad things that happen in life. This person knows there's always something to be grateful for. In my younger years, I used to run a lot. I would participate in 5K and 10K races. Now I can't run. Too many aches and pains after a few days of running. But I, can, but I can still walk and, and hike. I walk almost every day. I'm grateful for that. Think of disappoint, disappointments you may have had recently at school or at home. Maybe something didn't turn out the way you wanted, but you can think about it and say, yeah, I wasn't able to do this, but I can still do X, Y, and Z. Feel grateful for that. Again, the Japanese characters engraved on that fountain expressed, all I know in life is to be contented, to be grateful. I think we have a very good idea what the word grateful means, but what about contented? Merriam-Webster defines it as, a, as feeling or showing satisfaction with one's possessions, status or situation, or feeling that one's needs or desires have been met. Some synonyms are satisfied, happy, and pleased. It doesn't mean that you're jumping up and down, all excited about something, but that you're satisfied, pleased with something. I like this. I like what I have. I like where I'm at. Taitsetsu Uno, in his book, Shin Buddhism, Bits of Rubble Turn into Gold, defines gratitude this way. The ultimate expression of gratitude, as well as repentance, is the saying of the name Namu Amida Butsu, acknowledging the good karmic circumstances that have blossomed into the true and real life of Nembutsu. Gratitude on the conventional level is a response to favors, kindness, and good fortune received from others. But gratitude on the religious level is an affirmation of the gift of life itself. Whether we are young or old, poor or wealthy, in good health or bad, living all alone or surrounded by loved ones. In Joro Shinshu, we don't perform petitionary prayer. There is no, please grant me this, can you give me that? We say, Namo Amida Butsu in gratitude for what has already been given to us. We recognize that we have been the recipients of much compassion throughout our lives from our parents, our grandparents, other relatives and friends, even from strangers. It's not necessary to understand everything that happens around us. It's enough to be grateful. By the way, when we went to Japan in May, we did visit Ryoanji Temple. The rock garden was simple but beautiful. To me, it seemed that to really appreciate the garden you, need, you needed to admire it along with all the, the elements around it. It was, just, it was not just the red gra gravel and rocks, but the walls surrounding it, the lush trees overhanging some sections of the wall, the blue sky. Maybe the Zen monks who originally designed this garden saw it as an aesthetically pleasing way to suggest interdependence. You not only admire the rocks and gravel, but everything that surrounds them. And I did walk to the back of the main building and looked for that fountain mentioned in Harada Sensei's essay. And there it was, a small unassuming water fountain of typical Japanese design, a pipe made of bamboo feeding water into the fountain with the four Japanese characters chiseled into the stone. It was beautiful in its simplicity. So to end my message, I ask you this. Think of one thing you should be grateful for today. Again, 
Maybe you need to phrase it as, well, I don't have this, but I do have that. I can't do this, but I can do that. That's fine. I'll tell you what I'm thankful, thankful for today. At 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time this morning, our grandson, Vicente Alejandro, was born. Me and my wife are extremely grateful for that. He was due on October 3rd, but I guess the little kid couldn't wait to meet his mommy and daddy. So please join me in Gashu. The debt of gratitude I owe to Amida's great compassion I will proclaim until my life disintegrates into dust. The debt of gratitude I owe to my Dharma teachers I will express until my bodily form is finally shattered. Namo Amida Bhikkhu. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Arturo, for your wonderful message on uh, compassion and gratitude. And um, congratulations on uh, the birth of your grandson. Very nice. Okay, uh, will everyone please stand for the Gotha um, Grateful Hearts? Um, this is on page 151 of the service book. For those of you who remember this uh, song, uh, Gotha, it was uh, I love this titled "I Love the Story," and uh, Anne will play um, the first part of it so everyone can follow the tune, and then and then we'll join in with the singing. Okay, after we get through one. Oh, she'll she will play through it one time, and then okay. I'll pause. Okay. <laughs> You, uh, please, please remain, remain standing, standing for the for recitation, recitation of the golden, golden chain, chain on page, page 90. 90. Golden chain. I am a link in Amida's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I will keep my link bright and strong. I will be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will think pure and beautiful thoughts, say pure and beautiful words, and do pure and beautiful deeds. May every link in Amida's golden chain of love be bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. Gasho, Namo Amidaps, Namo Amidaps, Namo Amidaps, Namo Amidaps, Namo Amidaps. Thank you. You may be seated. Are there any announcements at this time?
Thank you, Ralph. Uh, I'm Bill T. Uh, I help out with some of the AV sometimes. But I did have a project uh, that just got completed. So in the conference room downstairs, we've sorted through the books and kept the ones we think will be of most interest to you or the members. And it's a lending library for our membership. So if you're a member, you can go ahead and take out a little note card and write down the name of the book and your contact information and, and go ahead and borrow it. Uh, or if you're not a member but you find a book you're interested in, just let us know in the office and we'll see what arrangements we can make. Uh, very often we do have some duplicates and also some of these publications are available online uh, by PDF, not always easy to find, but we do have sources for some of them. But I also wanted to let you know, especially as this is the Shotsky month for uh, Reverend Aoyama, uh, Reverend Aoyama was our resident minister when I was temple president over 20 years ago. And uh, we have a, sh a shelf right now for uh, this month in which uh, we have a little memory of him. Uh, I just wanted to remind you that uh, Reverend Aoyama was distinguished in two ways. One is that he served the temple twice. So he was our resident minister uh, for many years. Then he went to serve other temples uh, north of us. And then on retirement, he came back to San Diego and was a frequent uh, presence on the Onai gene as, as an associate minister. So we're very grateful for that. The other is that he was the most literary of all of our resident ministers and wrote a number of books. So those on the shelf with the, with the uh, picture of him and a few words about him, we also have all of his books for you to take a look at. Some of these books are for sale at the VEC bookstore in the glass case in the foyer. Uh, but others there are also available to uh, borrow if you'd like uh, for members. And then if you're not a member, just let us know. Maybe we can work something out. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know about that resource. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. You look familiar. I saw you in the box in the back of the hondo. Yes, that's where I am. I'm hoping, though, to make some child happy by either going to Rady's Children's, a Ronald McDonald's House Charities, or UCSD Health. Really? Can I go, too? Yes, we're hoping some of us will be joined by other little friends and we make the Dharma School's making a collection and they're going to take us to the charity. The interfaith community is gathering stuffed animals and other dolls for children in need. Great, I hope I get to go to the same place you do. Okay. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm uh, with the BWA. I should have had a little puppet or something. That's a hard act to follow. <laughs> anyway, I just came to uh, announce that um, we have order forms for our brittle, um, and uh, sales are going pretty quickly. So if you don't order, you're going to be left out because uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas are coming up, and those are perfect times. We'll have it like a cute little wrap. Um, if you have an order, uh, you can deposit in this uh, elegantly decorated box that says brittle, and it says cute things. Um, but please fill out an order form so we know exactly um, who we're going to fill the order for. Thank you. I have a couple announcements. Um, Yesterday, our temple hosted a seminar, which was uh, uh, attend. Well, uh, the theme of the seminar was infinite uh, diversity in infinite combinations, and uh, we had a wonderful Dharma message presented by Reverend um, John Iwahara from the um, Gardena Buddhist Church, and we had a nice panel 
that was uh, part, uh, that included uh, Mr. Arturo and um, Reverend Smitty, and then um, Roz, Ms. Roz from um, um, Vista, and Reverend John, and Reverend um, Gibbs was the moderator. Those of you who attended, thank you for attending yesterday, both in person and on on uh, online. It was a wonderful event, and if you'd like to view it, it's available on the temple's YouTube channel. So uh, it was recorded. So if you'd like to take a look at it, um, it's uh, it's there for for your viewing. In two weeks, the Southern District will be having its annual conference in. Um, Pasadena and um, if you'd like to attend there's a, a registration sheet downstairs in the office today's the last day to register for the conference if you'd like to attend uh, the event okay I guess that's it for announcements so uh, at this time the Dharma school students are um, Welcome to come up to Oshoko Burn Incense, and um, you can uh, go to your classes. We will now continue with the adult portion of the service, and um, we will uh, recite the uh, reading of the Vandana T. Sarana on page 90, led by, uh, by uh, Laverne Sensei. And please join me in recitation of the Vandana. I'm going to start with Namo. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa homage to him the exalted one the enlightened one the supremely awakened one. Buddham Saranam Gachami, Dhammam Saranam Gachami, Sangam Saranam Gachami. I go to the Buddha for guidance. I go to the Dharma for guidance. I go to the Sangha for guidance. Namo Kie Butsu. Namo Kie Ho. Namo Kie So. 
Namo Midavits, Namo Midavits, Namandavits, 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 Namandavits. Thank you. At this time, uh, Liberd Sensei will present her Dharma message. Please join me in Gashyo. Let us put hands together and bow our heads in reverence. I have collected true words to aid others in their practice for attaining birth in order that the process be made continuous without end and without interruption by which those who have been born first guide those who come later and those who are born later join those who were born before. This is so that the boundless ocean of birth and death be exhausted. Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namandabits, Namandabits, Namandabits. That was a passage from Shindan Shonin's Kyogyo Shinsho. Um, before I start my Dharma message, I would like to thank um, Arturo for his wonderful message about gratitude. Um, and that really is the theme of my message today. But also for the memory, um, I was on that same trip um, to Kyoto, to the Ryoanji uh, in, in, um, in Kyoto. And it was indeed beautiful. It wasn't my first time there. It was my second time there. I had been there about 50 years earlier on uh, my high school senior class trip. And I believe that that was my first spiritual experience. When I went, there, there weren't all the tourists that uh, were there on the day that we went this, this past year. Um, it was very quiet. It was about 6 o'clock in the morning, and it was very, very chilly. It was very cold. And I remember sitting on the, you know, the side overlooking the garden and just feeling at peace and just feeling a sense of calm just envelop me. And um, so it was wonderful to go back again and revisit that experience. So um, good morning, fellow travelers on this Shin Buddhist path. Welcome to our October Shotsuki Hoyo. Shotsuki Hoyo is a monthly memorial service where we honored loved ones who have crossed over to the Pure Land in a particular month in previous years. Each month, the Shotsuki names are published in the Busei script, our Kaiho, or monthly newsletter. And this morning, I read the names of those who passed away in the month of October. There were 74 names listed in the Kaiho, but I read 75 names. Because of an oversight on my part, I had failed to earlier add my father, Kosuke Imori, who died on October 13th, 1991. I failed to add him to the list ahead of time, so I'll remember to do that by contacting Linda in our temple office this week. The earliest record of death in the Kaiho was for Ikichi Ito, who passed away on October 25th, 1930. That was many, many years before most, if not all of us here today were born. Many of you had family members and friends on that list of names today because your families built and your families maintained this temple throughout the years. In fact, all of us, we all are here on this day, October 1st, 2023, in this hondo, because of the people whose names I read. Even if folks like my dad didn't build this temple or was never a member of this temple, nevertheless, I owe him and my mother a debt of gratitude for my very existence. I'm here today 
able to hear and share the Dharma and enjoy the camaraderie and support of this Sangha at the Buddhist Temple of San Diego. All of you who are fellow travelers on my Shin Buddhist path. I've now been in San Diego long enough to know some of the names that I read this morning, or I've gotten to know family members of the deceased. People like Mio Hill, Tomio Ota, Roy Yonekura, Chieko Moriyama, Kisae Ohara, and of course, Reverend Teshi Aoyama. Has it really been four years since his passing? I owe each one of these people a debt of gratitude for all the ways in which they supported this temple. And I especially owe a deep gratitude for Aoyama Sensei for being one of my Dharma teachers. I miss his Japanese hoa, although I couldn't understand all of it. I think I got the gist of it. I miss his harmonica. I miss listening to him playing Sen no Kaze. Those memories remain with me in my heart. So it's in memory of all the names on today's Shotsuki list. And for many of us, especially in memory of Aoyama Sensei, that I opened with the passage from the Kyogyo Shinsho. Let me read it again. I have collected true words to aid others in their practice for attaining birth. In order that the process be made continuous without end and without interruption, by which those who have been born first guide those who come later, and those who are born later join those who were born before. This is so that the boundless ocean of birth and death be exhausted. I believe that this was an aspiration of Aoyama Sensei. He was certainly a guide for many of us. So let us, in turn, also aspire to be guides for those who will follow us. Let's share this wonderful gift, this wonderful gift of precious teachings. Let's aspire to our, our best abilities to live lives on this bodhisattva path so all beings can be freed of suffering. Some of you may wonder, especially those new to Jodo Shinshu, new to this temple, some of you may wonder why memorial services such as these are so important in our Jodo Shinshu tradition. As many of you know, I did not grow up in the Jodo Shinshu tradition. So for a long time, I just took it for granted that it was just part of the liturgy, just another ritual. However, over time, I've actually come to look forward to our Shotsuki and memorial services. They've become meaningful times for me. And they are opportunities for us to reflect on the cherished memories of those deceased and to reflect on how each of those persons listed on the Shotsky list contributed in ways known and ways unknown to my very presence here today, to your very presence here today. And certainly on the 13th of October, especially, I'll remember my dad, and I'll thank him for all that he has done for me, for my life today. Those of you who have been here for a while, do you remember Kenji Sensei's lessons from please to thank you? His message was very simple but clear in that Jodo Shinshu Buddhism is rooted in a deep, deep sense of gratitude, as Arturo shared earlier today. Shindan Shonin expressed his gratitude to have encountered the Dharma passed on to him through Honen, Genshin, Shandao, Taocho, 
Tan Luan, Vasubandhu, Nagarjuna, and of course, Shakyamuni Buddha. The names that I mentioned are considered to be the seven masters uh, identified by Shinran Shonin, um, the lineage of this Jodo Shinshu teaching. And all of us here today, we're beneficiaries. Those are our gifts from those teachers and Shindan Shonin. You know, there's so much more to learn about Jodo Shinshu doctrine. Um, but for someone like me, having the opportunity to hear the Dharma, to attend seminars like the one we had yesterday about diversity and inclusivity, um, I also have a wonderful opportunity to attend IBS classes. I get to eat teriyaki chicken with all of you and donuts in the morning um, and so much more. I feel that I share these feelings of joy and gratitude that Shindan Shonin expressed and ones that, uh, from a phrase that I read this morning, Shindan Shonin was truly grateful. He was truly, truly joyous, happy, contented. And his words reflect that. So please join me in Gasho as I read this passage. How joyous I am, my heart and mind being rooted in the Buddha ground of the universal vow and my thoughts and feelings flowing within the Dharma ocean, which is beyond comprehension. I am deeply aware of the Tathagata's immense compassion, and I sincerely revere the benevolent care behind the master's teaching activity. My joy grows even fuller, my gratitude and indebtedness ever more compelling. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Can you feel this joy? I certainly can. And I am so very happy that you're here to share this day with me. And with that, please rise and join me in the singing of our gatha, which is about gratitude, on page 128. Thank you, uh, Laverne Sensei, for your uh, reflections on gratitude and for a very nice uh, tribute to our, our Aoyama Sensei. Um, everyone, please remain standing for closing uh, music meditation.
Kasho Namo Midavs Namo Midavs Namo Midavs Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Well, this concludes our uh, service for today and the uh, remembrance of our uh, um, those who passed away uh, during the month of October. Um, thank you very much for your attendance and thank you to, um, to uh, Laverne Sensei for officiating to uh, Arturo and for her uh, Dharma message to the adults and to Arturo Rubio for his Dharma message to the Dharma school and to our tech team of uh, Bill and to Brevin, to Ann Ong for um, playing the organ and I believe to Katie for ringing the con show this morning. No? Oh, it's Sharon. Sorry, Sharon. Sharon run um, the con show. Everyone is welcome to uh, um, to hospitality downstairs. There will be a da Japanese Dharma message following this portion of the service, and it'll be a video uh, re um, from uh, Yukati Williams. Um, so thank you very much for attending. You're welcome to Oshoko, and um, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you all next Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. Uh, please offer incense if you'd like. And uh, we're going to be doing a little moving of equipment after people offer incense to get. Uh, right now, we have the video. We're not getting sound through the TV screen for some reason. So we have a workaround. We're going to give it a try. So I'm just imposing on your patience uh, so that we can enjoy Yukari uh, Japanese Hoa. Thank you.
毒の崩壊に緻密で